Well, my name is Mary Stout. Um, you know, we didn't know, we, did, we want people to express what they want to say and, and, and tell stories, whatever. But um, I decided what I would kick it off by finding a few things on Facebook that were posted from people that, uh, that I thought, I highlighted them and I thought we should share them. Um, um, I just took little parts of what they, what they were. Rebecca, Rebecca Robbins was a lady that was uh, a fellow West Virginian from Charleston and a colleague. And she wrote, this talented, generous, and <laughs> I can't read my own writing anymore. <laughs> and uh, a lovely, kind gentleman um, wasn't just wonderful, a wonderful castmate, but also um, a mentor and a friend. Rami Sandu, who we did Christmas Carol with, I did lots of shows with Michael, by the way. Um, I know I've known Michael since 1973 when we did uh, Hatfields and McCoys and Honey in the Rock <laughs> in Beckley, West Virginia. So that was my first uh, my first meeting with Michael, and we we did a lot of we did two road shows together. So we we spent a lot of time together. And Rami uh, wrote in, I remember Michael helping with the Latin that we used in the graveyard sequence because he he was very uh, he was very trained in the uh, in the sacred world and had quite a background in that and he certainly knew his Latin. Uh, Jan told me I could I could read her part of her posting. She says, I'll always be grateful to our dear friend for rescuing me and my guests on our way to the Poconos after a car accident that left my car totaled. Michael didn't hesitate to drive an hour to pick us up so that we could enjoy the holiday weekend and drive them back home. Um, Lynn Carroll, who was a friend, very old friend of his, um, wrote, uh, playing bridge will never be the same. Because <laughs> <laughs> Michael loved his bridge and so did Andrew. Um, somebody, I, I think this was somebody from Beauty and the Beast World from, from that tour, um, Danielle Bossoret, I guess that's how you say her name. She wrote, what a wonderful man and one of my favorite Cogsworths. Life on the road was brighter because of him. He did. He was very fun on the road. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Bill Ryle said, "Michael, you were my in my first Broadway show, and uh, we ended up buying a home in the Poconos after seeing your beautiful home." So he had quite an effect on people. Uh, Michael Biaggi, a, mu a, a music aficionado, said, "One of our generation's elders has left the building, and we are poorer for our loss." Um, Jesse Luttrell wrote, Michael Hayward Jones was a living legend, which I, I agree with. Um, <coughs> Tim Hartman, who he did Tale of Two Cities with on Broadway, um, wonderful man, he, he's also an artist, uh, a visual artist, and he did a wonderful uh, caricature, which I'll put up on the table afterwards, um, and right in the middle, as you can see, I put a little circle around it, is a picture of Michael, and he said, he was the big heart in the middle of the show. <laughs> and he was, yeah, I mean, very prominent in the show. Uh, Susie Winson said, you were very kind to, a, to this confused teenager back in 1980. I think they, they did Brigadoon together. Uh, Mary Sugar, very, very good friend of his from the Philly area. Um, she said, I keep, and she did see him on the day he passed. Um, I'm not sure he was aware that she was there, but she was there. And she said, I keep reliving our moments together, whether backstage or at the piano or at his always impeccably decorated ha home on his beloved mountain or walking arm in arm through his garden where he proudly showed me all of the plants he had cultivated and cared for. And for our loving chorus, long correspondence, always full, full of love and kind, encouraging words. Um, the last one is, uh, there are actually two. One is, uh, I really particularly like uh, uh, an old friend from, I understand, Maryland area, uh, a colleague. She said, whether on stage or off, Michael always had a knack for leaving the room more beautiful and fun than he found it. But this time, we wish he didn't have to 
it didn't have to be so soon. And the last one is from a, a wonderful actor that I've worked with, Raymond Jam Jamilo, sorry, McLeod, Jar Jaramillo, that's it. He said, if ever, if you ever had the chance to work with this lovely, sweet, charming, bright, talented, empathetic man, then your chance will have to come when he is reborn as the emperor of all things wonderful <laughs> next time around. That's all. We sure loved your Michael. Thank you. Thank you.